Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another week in our ICD 10 CM coding journey. This is week eight, and this week we're going to get into the chapters dealing chapter 21, congenital malformations, and chapter 22, symptoms, signs, abnormal clinical and lab findings not elsewhere classified. In chapter 21, we're going to talk about the intricacies of coding congenital anomalies. We'll get into the guidelines, the conventions, and the chapter-specific codes that are applicable to these congenital conditions. Chapter 21, we've already touched the surface of a little bit, and this is dealing with what I've put on some of the assignments, signs and symptoms, when we code them when we don't code them. Here's a hint. If you clearly understand that you don't code signs or symptoms that are an inherent part of an established diagnosis, you're going to be way ahead of the game. Here are some study tips for this week. Read the chapter-specific guidelines. Turn to these two chapters and familiarize yourself with some of the conventions and directions in the tabular for both these chapters. Watch the video lectures with the questions that pop up to enhance your understanding of this. If you have any questions or clarification, is needed on any of these things, you're always welcome to email me or stop by and see me during Zoom office hours. That's all I have for you. We'll see you online. Have a great week.